What is up everybody? I'm back with another model review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Qantas 707 320C VJet. This is made by Herpa Wings in 1500 scale. So before we kick start with the details on the box, just to share some information about Qantas. Qantas was founded on 16 November 1920 and commenced flight operations on March 1921. Their hubs are Brisbane International Airport, Melbourne International Airport, and Sydney Kingsford Smith International Airport. Their secondary hubs are Adelaide Airport, Perth Airport. Their focus cities are Cairns Airport, Singapore Changi Airport, and Darwin International Airport. Their frequent flyer program is Qantas Frequent Flyer. They are a member of One World. Their subsidiaries are Qantas Link. Jetstar, Qantas Freight, Qantas Holidays, Express Ground Handling, Qantas Ground Services, and Trip at Deal. They have 124 aircraft in their fleet. They serve 85 destinations across worldwide, and their headquarters are located in Mascot and New South Wales, which are both parts in Australia. The first flight of this aircraft took place on 29 January 1965 and delivered to Qantas on 9 February 1965. Alright, so now let's move on with the details on the box. So above we have the new Qantas logo, the 100 years logo, Celebrating 100 years of service from 1920 all the way to the present. Boeing 707 S320C VJet 1500 scale. Um, we also ha have the uh, actual model packed inside the box that we can see right in there just without opening it up. Herpa miniature model and the Herpa logo on the bottom right hand side. On the back, on the back we can see their official accounts in Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Actually, I uh, followed their subscription in YouTube and Instagram. We have the official licensed products from Qantas and Boeing and we have the limited edition right there so here's the top the left the bottom and the right hand side alright guys the model's been taken out of the box and we will start here on the port side by the cockpit and no section. That's better. So first we have the cockpit windows and underneath we have the aircraft name which is City of Paramata. And above the L1 boarding door we have some tiny little writings above right there uh, if you guys can't read it clearly it basically says Qantas which is the airline of this aircraft same for the L2 boarding door right there and continuing back to the front we do get the old classic Qantas logo which was used from 1968 to 1984. We also have the old Qantas Australia's Overseas Airline logo titles along with the Australian flag which uh, of course Qantas is the main flag carrier of Australia and also we do get this uh, yellow logo right there um, i believe it's the royal air mail logo if i'm not wrong and below the wings we do get these 
classic 707 engines and yes they are the Pratt & Whitney JT3D engines used on most of the 707s and of course on each engine we do get the Qantas VJet logo right there same goes for the other one now I'm going to show you what the front of these engines look like. Alright, so here's what the front of the JT3D engines look like. And you can see their jet turbines inside, turbofan blades. Same goes for the other two on the starboard side. On the edge of the wing, we do get the red navigation light, while the other on the starboard side is green. On the rear of the aircraft, we have the Boeing 707 written below on the polished belly. We also have the registration, which is Victor Hotel Echo Bravo November. And on the tail, we have the Qantas widget logo along with the old classic Qantas logo above and about the Qantas widget logo um, widget was a Qantas destination and refers to the newer turbofan jet aircraft model which is this aircraft the Boeing 707 On the back of the aircraft, we have the APU exhaust unit right there on the back. Alright, here we are on the starboard side of the aircraft and you can see that everything's pretty much the same except for the cargo container doors. So one on the front and one on the rear along with the storage compartment door and also uh, on top of the tail, you can see this distinctive antenna placed on top. The distinctive antenna that is placed on top of the aircraft's tail is called the HF antenna or the HF dorsal fin notch antenna that is placed on top of the tail or the vertical stabilizer. And it was designed to reduce the impact of lightning strikes on this particular aircraft, the Boeing 707. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the bottom part and the top part of the aircraft. Alright, here we are on the bottom view of the aircraft where we see the nose gear. And we have the polish belly underneath, the hairball logo, the hole for the stand, the landing gears, the wings, we have the flaps, slats, and ailerons, along with the JT3D classic Boeing engines. We have the Qantas airline name inscribed on the right wing below S same on this side with the registration continuing to the back we have the horizontal stabilizers right there On the top view of the aircraft, there's simply not much on the top, no antennas, but we do get the anti-collision beacon light, red dot right there. The wings, 
We have the flap slats, ailerons, and spoilers, along with the contest title written above on the left wing. To get the red navigation light right there. Yep. Same on this side with the registration. And the back of the plane, we have the tail and the horizontal stabilizers right there. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.